Hi everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about comping in Brazilian music. Comping, short for a company. Um, in Brazilian music, I'm gonna start talking about bossa nova. I believe that's the first thing that comes up to, especially in the United States, if you think of, of Brazilian music, bossa nova was huge in the 60s. Um, so, and still is kind of big here. Um, so I'm going to show you a few comping patterns and I think a good way to start this is start with mis common mistakes that I notice um, when, when I see jazz guitar players trying to play bossa nova. A lot of people say that there's no right or wrong. I think there is. <laughs> For example, if you're playing, uh, one thing that I notice, a couple of things. One is to use the right hand with using this guy here as a rhythmic that sounds kind of weird, check it out. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a can oh, I see that all the time. You know, uh, this is not, I mean, it may sound good for, for what it is, it may fit another context, but this is absolutely not a bossa nova, not, you know, remotely. Um, I kind of like it now. Wrong, fail, you would fail your bossa nova class. But uh, the progression I'm gonna use here, by the way, um, to begin, at least the first progression I, I'll, I'll use for the song, so I'll dance samba. If you don't know, go find it. Uh, I think on the real book it's been called Jazz in Samba as well, they, they named it. It's basically, it's almost the same progression as Take the A Train. Antonio Carlos Jobim used that progression a lot. He used that on The Girl from Ipanema, he used that on Sodas Samba, on parts of Desafinado. So that's progression. I want to focus more on the, on the rhythms here right now. So I already showed you the, the, be careful with what you do with the right hand, you know, this thing. It's not gonna get you anywhere. So none of that. Now, the, um, another common mistake, I guess I already did it. It's the, oh, the, the bass line, like changing the bass line like crazy. That's something that American jazz guitar players do often. I mean, of course, the great, like people like Anthony Wilson, people like, I don't know, Russell Malone, Peter Bernstein, people who play bossa nova, Steve Cardin is another one who likes Brazilian music. Of course, they, uh, I'm talking about like lower, lower class <laughs> um, jazz guitars. But uh, a common mistake that you see on your local jazz club in Massachusetts, um, it's this thing here. Changing the bass too much, you know? Oh yeah, that's, that's bad. I gotta make bad voices to make it sound. the bass don't be changing the bass like crazy so now let, let me try one example that I think it's a good example um, the first bossa nova pattern I would say you know you open the Bible of bossa nova what's the first thing first the first thing is listen to João Gilberto that's the first thing and one pattern that he does very often it's this guy here check it out I 
haven't changed the pattern already. Right? Okay, so what was that? If you notice, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the bass note, it's always on one and two. So you can, you can do one, two, one and two and. Forget about the, 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 the voice itself, just listen to the bass. See, you start changing the bass, it already sounds like the, those caricature, 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 those exaggerated stereotypes, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like those cartoons from the 60s, uh, that, that are not Brazilian at all. So, anywho, that was a, a sub pattern. So, let's, let me, let me break it up a little bit. The bass is always going to be... Now the, the, the chord here, the, the upper part of the chord. Oh. The first thing I'm doing, I'm playing them, the, the entire chord together, four notes chord. The only four note chords here. So. The, the ABC of, of Bossa Nova, you know, just to be able to, I could write out on a PDF and put it on the screen, but uh, I think it, it, try to get it by ear, you know, it's better for me because I don't have to write and it's better for you because you, you get the thing by ear, you know, <laughs> so that's one pattern. Now let me show you the one very simple variation of the same pattern, which I did by accident on the mixer. Check it out. Instead of doing all downbeats like on the one, two, cha, and the entire, I'm gonna anticipate the next chord. What do I mean? So three and four and. See now there's a katum. There's a the the chord is anticipated. The bass is still on the downbeat, but the the the, the second bar I guess is is anticipated. So. Second pattern, here you go. Second. Alright, I changed the chord but I kept the pattern. That's what we're talking about the most. So cool. I think this is the basic. You know, you need to know those the without being able to play those two patterns, you're not gonna get anywhere. So, you already got those patterns, right? So let me talk to you about a few other options, a little bit more advanced options. Uh, other ver I mean, you can basically, if you're thinking in 2-4, which is the way to go. Like one, two, one, two. And this is how Bossa Nova is really felt, you know? Some, sometimes you see on, um, in the States, you hear uh, books, people write Bossa Nova in 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess it's fine. In the end of the day, it's all the same, right? Nothing means anything. But 
um, I, 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 I really believe that you feel, you're going to feel, if you're thinking of the subdivision of the bar in 16 notes, so because that's how like if you see people dancing that's that's where they're tapping their feet you know on thinking in, in two four it's not you know it's it's different it's something else is that maybe a cha-cha-cha would be like that but that's not what we're talking about um so back to the sub subdividing the beat in 16th notes. So that's gonna be for in between each clap there will be four notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four notes of equal value, important. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Daka, 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 daka. So one thing you can do is um, make any variations like hearing those those the subdivision of the beat in 16th notes and just playing around with those 16th notes at will so check it out um you start here oh yeah maybe a good way to to show you to play all the 16th notes state of Illinois at least is it is legal to play all it's a little exaggerated maybe for an old old type of samba comping people do that I forgot the name but they, they have even the name for that and you can make the accents in different places final little thing about or maybe we'll keep going we'll see um when i when i mentioned splitting the the bar in 16th notes so one two three cut that cut cut that cut cut that cut you can also do it uh with your right hand play um finger style <laughs> so with uh for example one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three Bye, 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 bye. 
We talked about the most basic ever. That's the one that Jean Gilberto does the most. Cha cha um, cha 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 um, cha. And then one little variation on that. Cha cha um, cha cha um, cha um, cha uh, um, cha um, cha cha cha. Uh. And then the the sixteen notes. And all combined. Okay, I think that's enough. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.